Good morning and welcome to another occasional vlog. We had a week off, we're back now, we didn't get up to much. Apologies if the phone's playing up, it's saying it's too warm at the minute, I've just been wirelessly charging it and it's not happy about it. But yeah, uh, I'm actually on Beacon, Ashes Beacon today. Uh, we're going to go for a little wander in a minute. But first of all, you may remember that last occasional vlog, possibly the one before, I can't remember, I said that our time with Bruce the car was coming to an end. Um, yeah, so may I introduce to you Bruce 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> we haven't officially named it yet, and I've also put it in a puddle. Oh. Yeah, so we traded up to a Gen 4 Mazda 3, which when we were buying the last one, I didn't like this car. But since I've sort of got used to seeing them around, I've actually grown to really like it. And so I decided to go for it so as an updated well, it's a completely new car actually, it's uh, it's not like a facelift model or anything, it's a completely new vehicle. Uh, it was released about the time our car was made, the last one. But yeah, um, decided to go for one this time. Uh, so this is a, not the top of the range one, it's a centre line model. I did it on purpose because the last one had 18 inch wheels and this one has 16 inch wheels. A lot more comfortable to drive, uh, a lot less bangy over the bumps and stuff like that. The thing I didn't like about it originally was this rear quarter panel here, the C pillar, is huge um, and I didn't like that but I've grown to quite like it now. Uh, but yeah, we'll go in and we'll have a quick chat and then we'll go for a walk. So straight away I've got muddy up mud all over the carpets but fortunately they did put a set of mats in the car which is nice. Um, uh, what is there to say about the car? It is much like the last one, a two litre petrol engine car, it's got a lot more fancy uh, sort of technology now, because obviously that car was about five, six years old. The last one was basically end of it, at the end of its PCP deal, and um, I hadn't lost a huge amount of money on it because of the way the used market went. So when I went to <laughs> chat to them uh, about cars and what I wanted to do, they were like, you know, they gave me some options, they, they pointed me in the direction of uh, was higher in this in the range, but the APR on used cars though was hugely, massively over the top. And then they did the maths on the new car and it actually came out cheaper. So this is a 73 player. It's currently got 115 miles on it, which is the driving I've done in the past two days. Um, as for like features and toys and stuff, all that there in the middle is a big screen, which gives me all sorts of information when I'm driving. All right, say you have to excuse me. I keep unmuting stuff because I keep pressing the wrong button. You get all your driving information there. You can have it as a speedo as well. We do have a heads-up display. I don't know if you'll see it on the video, but in the window there, you can see that. We've obviously got our Android Auto, and uh, we're podcasts and stuff like that, so hopefully this audio is recording correctly. We have a gear lever. That's normal. Uh, but it has, uh, like, auto-hold this one and all that sort of stuff. Um, and, yeah, this this is how you navigate the entertainment system. You can use the touchscreen, though, because pe previously people didn't like Mazda because you couldn't use the touchscreen, but now you can. So, yeah, that's good. I just realised I just almost showed you where we live. <laughs> uh, dual zone, climate control, uh, usual stuff like that, heated seats. Uh, this one's got all, like, adaptive cruise control, tracking and stuff like that, which is really quite good. You can just stick it in, ge in gear on the motorway, select a speed and follow the car in front. And for the most part, it will just keep, it will just follow that car, you know, and it, it like, stays back and, and then speeds up and slows down when it needs to, which is good. Got a proper fuel gauge, the last car didn't have that. Yeah, so far it drives really well, nice and smooth, uh, easy to drive, very similar to the last one. Um, as I said, it doesn't crash over the bumps quite so much because of the bigger tyres. Um, and to be honest, with this sort of performance of car, I don't think you need the fancy 18 inch rims. I think they're purely for looks, uh, and I don't care so much about looks as I do for comfort. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. Anyway, we're going to go out and get to do a little bit of a walk, have a little wander, see where we can get up to. I'm going to see if we can get to the top of the beacon. It might be a bit muddy though, so we might have to backtrack. I've not been up here for at least 10 years, so we'll see what happens there. If you do fancy coming up here for a little walk, there's just a little turn off halfway up the hill with a free car party. So that's where I'm parked today. It's not too bad. And then you just cross over the road and head up into the fields up there and you can get up to the beacon. Style's just down the way there. Looks, looks muddy already though. Not only is it muddy, but it's a stream. Definitely getting the floor of the car muddy on the way home. I think this is not the best way to go, to be honest. There are better paths. 
but this was the nearest to the car park. So I will backtrack to a better path. Just walk along the road on the way down. Well, we're heading the right way at least. I can see the beacon. <laughs> this isn't going to be a very long walk. It's just going to be a very muddy one. The path kind of goes that way, but I'm going to try and stay on this grass. The grass isn't as uh, muddy. It's looking crunchy though because of the ice. It's frosty morning. So you'll get a pretty good idea of why I came up here when we get to the top, although I guess the name Ash's Beacon <laughs> gives it away. <laughs> we wouldn't put beacons in valleys. I was expecting some of the water would have run off from around the top, but apparently it hasn't. <sighs> Made it up with only minor shoe damage. <laughs> Used to be better views from up here as I remembered. I think the, uh, the weather's not doing us any further after all that. You can normally see Rivington over the back there. Oh, chatted now. It's very pretty up here. Just a bit disappointed about the views. Hudson 1996, that would have been one of around the first times I ever came up here. I used to come up here on my bike quite a lot. A long time ago, I used to be able to get inside of here. Because the beacons used to be used to communicate up and down the country. So I think from here, you can't, I can't really see it. I think the trees have grown since I used to come when I was a youngster. I'm pretty sure over there is Rivington, which has Rivington Pike, which is another beacon. So we can get a bit of information about beacons on that sign over there. I'm just not sure if I can get to it with the condition of the uh, ground here. But I think when we head down, we'll probably head down that way to the road. So there used to be a pub at the top, but unfortunately that's shut. Hmm, actually, used to be two pubs, both of them have gone. I think when I go down, I'll uh, walk down the, the grass because that really cleaned my shoes off. Unfortunately, they were clean until this bit here. If we ever head over that way and round, I'll be better. Yeah, that was loads better. Okay, so that wasn't the greatest walk I've ever done. Should have guessed that it was going to be this muddy, to be honest. I need to get my shoes clean on this now. Just in time for me to get muddy again on this uh, path down here. Oh, so my socks are wet. <laughs> I do have a spare pair of shoes in the car, I always have a spare. I'll just switch into them if I need to. Definitely come up here in the summer though, it's quite nice. As far as what's been going on, not a huge amount really. We, uh, as Prit said, we had a quiet weekend last weekend. We did start vlogging, but once I realised we weren't really doing anything, we just stopped and I think that'll be the case for going forward because there's only so many vlogs I can do of us just tidying the house and having a Sunday roast. This, this way is actually worse than the other way by the looks of it. So yeah, but well this weekend we are going into town tomorrow, so we're going to try some new bars that we haven't tried before. New to us. A new full stop actually. We've been out in a few weeks. I'll keep recording here because I'm walking down a really muddy bit and it'll be hilarious if I fall over. <laughs> I don't even think the centre of the path's that muddy. It isn't, it really isn't. It's just slutchy and it's on top of the rock that forms the path. <laughs> so I'm actually putting myself more at risk walking down the grass. Does the asshole. Hey look, it's just water flowing over like a gravel path. And here's me walking on the grass over there like an idiot. I did just think that while I do have spare shoes in the car, they're in the boot of the car and I'd reversed into a puddle. 
I might have to go climb in the back seat, move the seat forward and reach through into the boot. <laughs> Dear me. Anyway, we're nearly off the muddy part now. My shoes are pretty bad. As I'm walking down the road, it is a little bit sketchy. Mainly because the sun is behind me. So if anything is coming up, I'm stepping on the other side. I don't really care if it's muddy. <laughs> Ill-advised walks of our time. The other walk I was going to do was around Southport Marina, which would have been nice and dry, but just perishingly cold. Back to the car park anyway. Now I need to go and find a Tesco, do a bit shopping. Well, I just went with these shoes. We got the car mats muddy, but that's what car mats are for. Look at this. Oh, it stopped doing it, never mind. Ew, fancy. I've never had a car with a, with a telly in the middle like that. Anyway, we'll go and find somewhere to do some shopping. I need to grab a few bits. Probably won't be Taylor's Farm shop. And then we'll get home. Get my shoes on the uh, in the wash. Quick call in at the biggest Tesco I could find. <laughs> So, in the light, you can also see that it's dirty, but you can see the colour better. It's like a blue flip with a dark black, it's really nice. Same colour that we had on the car prior to us getting the Kia Soul, so that was a long time ago, the Mazda 2 that we had. Look at the back though already, I've only had it three days. Got a few bits. We'll make our way home. That was the biggest Tesco. <laughs> Must have done about 4,000 steps trying to find stuff because I wasn't familiar with the layout. This is actually where we pick up our weekly shop, but we never go inside. We just pick it up over there behind us somewhere. Um, but it's very rare we're actually inside. But anyway, we'll get home and we'll uh, see what's going on. Randomly, I'm sitting here a good three days after me, Tesco tour. Uh, <laughs> I did 1,000 steps. Apparently that's the third biggest Tesco in the UK. I didn't know that. Fascinating fact. And I'm back home. Look at my hair. Put my neck. Need to get a shower today. I watched that and that scruffy mop. Look at those pe 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 pixie. <laughs> it's been very cute. Uh, so we do have a trip announcement. Uh, I'm not going to tell what it is yet. You'll have to wait till Gemma's here. But as a clue, it's in October. Actually, it's in late September, early October. And I'm giving you no more than that. Uh, uneventful drive back, apart from a van that just randomly pulled out in front of me. No indicator, drove out in front of me. 100 yards down the road, pulled in again. So the horn's quite loud on the Mazda 3. And also, uh, hand signals and gestures can be seen quite clearly from the windows. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, it's a nice drive, I enjoyed it, having a little poodle about in it. Um, it's, uh, it feels a lot smoother and more comfortable than the last car did. I think that's probably some of the tyres, and just because it's a newer car, it's a little bit tighter. Uh, the last car was at 55,000 miles, so whoever purchases that will probably get a really good daily driver, because it's uh, never done us wrong, and we enjoyed having that car as well, which is why we ended up getting the new model. Um, anyway, yeah, what's been going on? Really not much. As I said, we have booked another trip. Um... And yeah, um, we've also booked our first excursion for our cruise. So at some point, we're going to have to sit down and I'll do a sit down cruise chat to see if we can get those uh, cruise vlogging uh, fans to subscribe to the channel as well. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, it'll be nice to talk about what we're planning on that trip as well because we do have a few things planned in a couple of the ports that we're stopping at. Uh, all cats are all good, including. The occasional visitor and stray one, Mr. I say occasionally, pretty much lives in the garden, uh, Mr. Cat, grumpy Uncle Cat. Uh, unfortunately, I'm no closer to befriending him in any way, shape or form. He doesn't like people very much at all. Uh, he just likes that people feed him. You know, I can, I can respect that. <laughs> but yeah, he's doing okay. He's, uh, he's filled out a bit. We'll see. It remains to be seen how... Uh, how, how good he looks once he molts for the supplement season. Not he's a little bit thicker on his uh, in his belly. He certainly eats the food to set up. I did have to buy a new dash cam for the uh, car as well this week, which was an unexpected purchase because I've had this anchor roll I've worn for seven years, and when I took it out, I noticed the screen 
had come away from the unit and inside there behind that screen is classic spicy pillow the battery's swollen so obviously I don't want to put that in a new car so it's just sat there on a baking tray for now until I can get it to um, the tip and get rid of it and dispose of it although I have discharged it so it shouldn't have as much power as they usually do in them now the extensive water in the Tesco has our wheat crunches I've not had them for a while so I'm going to have some of them just taking a look in the garden there and we're only late February and the lawn's already starting to grow I'm going to have to start mowing soon intention for this year I'm going to cut that privet brush back again some of it's here, some of it's on the green bin green bins are on hiatus at the minute mow the lawns obviously maybe break up them fence panels at the back a bit more possible build another shed down here but we'll see what money looks like because obviously I've just spent for the new car and we've got holidays and stuff planned uh, the other shed's still standing but for how long I don't know the, I went in there over the winter and the base just collects water and as a result of that it's just rotten so like the whole base of the shed is just sitting in damp basically didn't show on the vlog but we used to have a chest of drawers in this cupboard here um, we never used it, it just sat empty so I've stripped it down, we're going to use the wood for something else possibly I've kept it anywhere, we'll see what happens and in here now we've got a big shelving unit that I found upstairs that we've not used for a long time so we've loaded that up with stuff and that means it's a little bit more organised under there it's not perfect yet, we need to come back around and tidy it up we've got some lighting in there now, just some uh, motion sensitive stuff that, of course we've got Pixie who has to come and inspect everything <laughs> that is basically what we've been doing quite a lot of in the last few weeks I think we've, we've um, decluttered about five or six bin liners just full of stuff and we've donated what we could to like charities for clothes and stuff like that whatever else is just junk we've just thrown in the bin uh, try and get at least some of our like storage areas a bit more organised so we can hide away stuff because what we have is we have a lot of stuff that just doesn't have a home which is why there's so much clutter when you walk around the house um, so we're just being quite vicious with it and getting rid of stuff we don't actually use, keep, want or otherwise but of course the issue with all that is finding time to do it um, and the time we do it is normally when we vlog to either go out to town, go to the zoo, or at the minute we're decluttering stuff. And as much as that's, you know, possibly vlog worthy, I just don't want to do it. By that I mean I don't want to vlog it, not actually tidy it. I do want to tidy it. <laughs> well, I've lost me chair. All three kitty cats on one seat. Look at the boys. <laughs> These two have been snuggled up together some in and I think <laughs> that was Pixie. I think uh, uh she's been washing Reggie because up behind his ear. Oh he's going for another go. <laughs> They're very cute. Look at this though. Shrimp. Pixie is very much a, 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 the most relaxed cat ever. This is quite the jump cut, but Jammer's home. Tonight's tea, flatbreads, pepperoni, prosciutto and mushroom. Chorizo. Chorizo. Chorizo and mushroom. Okay. These are, we, we, we bought the breads and then we bought all the ingredients and made them up ourselves. Didn't, well, you made mm, them up, didn't yeah, you? Okay. Jelly K or something. Mm. Flatbread bases, so. Yeah, we just saw them in Asda last night mm. and thought it'd be a nice idea, didn't we? Yeah. But it's not just flatbreads. It's not, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot of chicken wings. Gemma's home! And chicken wings as well. Wow. Quite a lot there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Barbecue chicken wings. Pixie straight in trying to steal our dinner. Also, while we eat, catch up on some vlogs with uh, this tomorrow here. So, oh. did you enjoy your dinner? Mm-hmm, it was lovely. Good. Do you want to tell them what we're doing for our other trip this year? Um, 
the <coughs> late September, early October one. Are going to... Florida. No, we're not. Wilderness Lodge. No, Sean Lodge. <laughs> we're going to um, a little lodge in the Lake District yeah. with a private hot tub. And it, yeah. And we've never done that before. No, we've not. And we've not spent a long time in the lakes no, for quite some week, time, have we? we? So we get a whole. I don't think we've ever spent a full week in the lakes. No, so. like Monday to Friday, maybe, or a long weekend. Yeah. That's, that's it. So we're going to have a proper chill week yeah. in the lakes. We're going to do it's some the whole exploring. Season season's holiday. Yes, and we're going to get some nice food and mm-hmm. we're going to have a little drive around and see some places I used to go to when I was a youngster. We'll we haven't finally been... take me to the pencil museum. Finally take you to the pencil museum. Fine, you've, you've, you heard it here first, we're not going to the, pencil museum. the pencil museum. I've asked him every single other trip to the lakes to go to the pencil museum and he never takes me. I don't really want to go to the pencil museum. It's just, uh, well, you there you go. What can <laughs> I say? I want to use that really big pencil. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll probably do like a, I want to go up to Dunn Valley again, which is a. a it, I've, actually, I was looking on YouTube. People keep no, posting. Gemma's very tired this week. Um, people keep posting. Now it's like the hidden gem of the late district. I'm the hidden gem. But I, I <laughs> but we were. I was like going up there when I was like sort of ten years old. Um, and then I want to go over to Waswell, to Wasdell, which is a nice little valley yeah, that's a little bit nice, more remote. Nice scenery. Yeah. We're not far from Carmel, mm-hmm. so the home of Sticky Duffy Pudding. Yeah, we can go and get some uh, food there and some drinks. Yeah. So it should be good, shouldn't we'll it? We'll probably go to Lakeland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah on the way up. Ages, yeah. So we'll probably go to Lakeland. Yeah, I've we'll got probably a, go to T Bay. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. I've got a list of things to visit. Yeah. I do have the Pencil Museum we'll on the, the list. Car Museum again. Yeah. Enjoyed that last time. yeah, that we was went good fun. Yeah, to the lakes. and that was probably getting on for ten years ago as well. Yeah, because that was the, when we had the Mazda the two. One in Keswick that we went to Cars of Stars. Oh, that's gone. That one. I know yeah. it's gone. We went. To, we went to that one though. Didn't yeah, we? we did at one point. I yeah. went to. Oh, I know what's back. What? Bluebirds back. All oh, right. So that's at the Lakeland Motor Museum. That one. Yeah. Because uh, we saw that on the vlog when we went up. Uh, that was when the, we went up for the sort of two night trip in the old Mazda 2 that was the same colour as the Mazda 3 we've just bought. Was that our last trip? Uh, uh, the last Maybe. trip to, one of the last trips, no, no it wasn't, no. we've had some since then. But that was when we got up there and the car broke down the day we got there. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we've got a few a few things planned, haven't we? Yeah. It should be good. Um, uh, a lot of relaxing and sitting in the hot tub. Yeah, in October. Uh, it's a hot tub, it doesn't matter. Hot. Yeah, true. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, uh, as for tonight, we're going to relax, continue watching a few uh, Norway trips, and then we'll probably catch up with you tomorrow when we're going into town for a couple of cheeky drinks and a little walk around some new bars. We're going for a session, aren't we? Yeah. So, we'll see you then. Why are you eating the table like you weirdo? Sorry, I was hungry. Sunday morning is bacon for breakfast, and we're watching some more PO cruises. A very messy table and a pixie who's sniffing at a bottle. We're going out. We're going out. We're going out, out. I'll see you in town then. Mm-hmm. We're in town, just heading up Bald Street towards up to the fill where we were the other weekend. On Valentine's Day? On Valentine's Day, yeah, for the uh, orchestra. There's a pub just up there called the White Hart that's just opened, so we're going to go and have a drink in there. I feel like I'm recreating one of my first nights out in Liverpool, yeah? Well, Walking up to where my student union used to be. I think that one of these used to be a travel agent that had a plane in the window, I remember that. Yeah. I mean, I can film all I want, but student union's been demolished years ago, so. <laughs> so don't, it's not open yet, but at some point, I'd like to visit this bar as well, the coach house. And this used to be the student union. Now it's student flats. Correction, it's a student education building. <laughs> There's Free State Kitchen, we still need to try. And the bar we're going to is across the road up there. We literally walked past it on the night we went to the, the Philharmonic Orchestra. And there's the White Hat. Now a lot of these bars are owned by the same people. An example was the Red Lion that we've been to a few times. This is the new one. We're in here now. Similar sort to day ago to the Red Lion. Got um, my favourite beer, the Osset Voodoo Chocolate Orange Stout on. 
We are heading off now, but yeah, this place is pretty cool. Nice atmosphere in here. I'm sure we'll be back. So we're going to try this cask coach house now, which is a tiny little place. Tiny little spot in here. No, it wasn't me, Carl. Mm. Yeah, well, Give giving yourself a wake now. Spot the leg off. Yeah. We've made a friend in here as well. <laughs> this is a proper tiny yeah. little bar. It's very cute. So, we had a lot of recommendations. I think we mentioned earlier in the vlog that we, we had a lot of recommendations to go to Free State Kitchen when we used to do the uh, burger review thing. <laughs> We're finally going to Free State Kitchen for some burgers. Pretty decent drinks menu there, and uh, and the food as well. It's burger time, I think. I think I'm gonna go double deluxe burger. Gemma's looking at the double French onion. Some restaurant going into, but we're just playing rock music. Gems on the margaritas. Enjoy. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah, to go for an old fashioned. And there's the burger. Look at that. Looks fantastic. Did you enjoy free steak? It was really nice. Yes, very good. Really enjoyed very, that. Very, very good. Close competitor to Nolia Cantina. <laughs> and after our lovely burgers, we did call into the uh, Philharmonic Hall dining halls for a cheeky beverage or two. I'm not on the Doomba. Doomba doesn't agree with me. This is a, a Brummy Blonde. Uh, Gemma's on the gin and yeah, and this place is still a really rather epic looking bar, isn't it? Go on, there you go. That's the uh, grade one listed toilets of the Philharmonic. Look at the tile work. It certainly smells like it was built in the 1800s. <laughs> was it the early 1900s? I think it was. Hello, sweetie. Hello. You had a good afternoon? Had a lovely afternoon. Good. Caught up with friends, had mm -hmm. good food, good drinks. Yeah, places we've never been mm -hmm. before. Carl and Lynn's a good example of if you're a fan of our channel, a hostage situation occurs where we <laughs> basically take you and... Take you hostage. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was good fun. <laughs> we had a nice afternoon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Free State Kitchen. We'll definitely be back there. Give me very... No Lisa Cantina vibes. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those we've been meaning to get to for a while. It's just I mean, that side of town is not yeah, somewhere we, we go as often, as is often. it? Um, I mean, I didn't do a kimchi belly burger, but the burger I had was very good. Yeah. It was the special, which was a mushroom. It was like a peppercorn sauce burger with garlic mushrooms on top. Very nice. And Swiss cheese, it was very nice. And mine was a very basic, though, well, basic as in it was just a standard, del like a deluxe nice burger. Flavor, yeah, salad. lots of salad. <clears throat> as well. Yeah, really good. Enjoyed it. And good cocktails in there. Good fries, too. And uh, we also enjoyed the White Heart, which was yeah. a new place to us. And the cask, I can't remember the Coach name. Coach House. Very small. Tiny. Yeah, but we met a nice dog, which is always we good. Did. She was very cute. Reminded me of my sister's dog. Apparently the same age as my sister's dog. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Same, like, same colour. Same breed, same age, same yeah. colour. Well, yeah, it was good fun. Anyway, we'll catch up with you probably tomorrow and move in towards the week and probably calls off the vlog at that point. Yeah. So since we've been out, I left a bit of food in the garden for Cat because Cat's not about at the minute. Uh, but I, f I left him some dry food out, and this little ginger one's turned up. <laughs> yeah, despite the noise in the background, we're not actually playing noises to attract this cat, but he did just look at the camera. Cutie. Comes Wednesday, and I've completely forgotten to close off the vlog, and also forgotten to actually vlog, but other than eat our tea, watch a bit of telly. We've not exactly had the most active of the uh, last couple of days, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we will end this vlog now, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. What are we doing next weekend? 
Planned anything, so. I haven't really planned anything. I haven't planned anything, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, we'll see you in that one anyway. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Jem.